Keeping data sets and files organized is an essential part of a researcher's work. And this is no different when it comes to using Stata. For every data analysis project you do, you should define your working directory or Stata will do it for you. But what exactly is a working directory? Well, a working directory is simply the default folder where Stata will look for your data sets and save your files. You can and should create a new folder for each project and assign this folder to be the working directory. I highly recommend that all your project files, like data, programs, output, and all these files, are within this single folder. So let me show you how you can implement this. Back to your desktop, I want to create a new folder. So right click, new folder called my project which is going to be my working directory in Stata. Mine is here in my desktop, but you can put yours wherever you want. You can also create subfolders inside your folder for your do files, your raw data, your log files. So just organize this folder however you want it. Uh, for now, I'll just store everything in the same folder. So let's go back to Stata now. Now we want to see what your current working directory is and change it. And there are two ways to see what your working directory is. The first one is to use the command pwd, press enter, and here is my current working directory, which is not the folder that I just created. And just for information, pwd stands for print working directory. Well, the other way to see what your working directory is, is just to check here on the bottom left hand corner of your Stata window, and you see this is the same folder as this one here. Okay, now let's change this. And to do this, we have to use the command cd space open quotation marks and close. And inside these quotation marks, we're going to put the address for our folder. To do this in Windows, you just come here, you click this bar on top, then you right click it and you copy or you can just do it manually if you want or however you prefer and paste it here great so we press enter and note that our current working directory has changed as you can see here on the bottom left hand corner you can also use pwd again and see that it has changed so it works perfect now great now I'm going to open, modify, and save one of the example data sets in Stata, which I'm going to show you how to access, just to show you that Stata is going to save everything in this new folder, which is our new working directory. So I know you haven't seen this yet, but just follow my lead and run the commands, okay? And the first command you're going to use is sys use space auto, which will load the auto data set, one of Stata's preloaded data sets. Press enter, and here we have, look at the right hand side, a bunch of variables, and here it says it's a 1978 automobile data. Okay, this is a pretty large data set, so I don't want to use all the variables. I just want to use the first three variables, make, price, and MPG, which is mileage per gallon, and I want to get rid of all the other variables. To do this, I'm going to keep the first three variables using this command I just showed you here. So I'm just going to click on make, double click, double click price, double click MPG. So the command is keep and then all the variables you want to keep, we just press enter and note how all the other variables were dropped. Now I want to save this data set using the command save. So it's a new command for you to learn followed by the name uh, that I want to give to this data set. So I'm going to call it auto modified with an uppercase M and press enter. Well, don't forget this data is case sensitive. So uppercase and lowercase are going to make a difference. So now let's check our working directory to see that your data set is indeed here. And now back to Stata. Now I want to show you another way of loading or saving a data set, which is just to specify the folder directly. If you do it this way, 
Stata is not going to save the file or look for the file in your working directory. So let me show you how we can do this by saving our new data set with a different name, let's say auto mod, sorry, auto mod two. But if I do this, this is just going to save the same file, the same data set to our working directory. So what we have to do instead is to open quotation marks. Oops, sorry. Here we go. Close quotation marks. And before the name of the file, backslash, and the location where we want to save it. Well, I want to use my desktop. So I'm just going to copy and paste this address here so that I don't have to go all the way and do it again. OK. So what's happening here? I'm saving our data set with a different name, which is auto mod two in my desktop. And by doing this, I am bypassing our working directory, which is my project right here. Let's give it a try. Enter. And I'm going to show you how you got right here auto mod two. So it was saved to my desktop. So by doing this, I want to show you that if you want to save a file direct, directly to a different location, you just use the address of that location, then you put the name of the file. So let me delete this file and let me run this command once again. Remember, you can just click once, but I want to put .dta, which is the name of the state of data files, the file type. So I'll just press enter. Same thing's gonna happen. I just wanna show you that adding the DTA will not change the fact that this is the, the standard uh, file type for state of data sets. Great. So how about use? How can you use a data set? How can you load the data set that is in a different location that's not your working directory? To show you this, I wanna do a couple things. So first, let me clear status memory by typing clear all and then i want to reload the data set so to do this let me show you a trick which is just to click one of the things you've used before but instead of save we're going to use here command use so instead of using the command save which we used before i'm just going to use the same syntax and change it for use because that's how it works so if I want to load a data set in Stata that's in a different location, I'm just going to specify that location. Here you go, my desktop. Put a backslash, the name of the file that I want. I can also exclude this DTA over here. And it has to be between quotation marks and press enter. And here you go. You have the three variables we had saved and you just learn a few new commands, okay? You learn PWD, which is to print the working directory, CD to change the directory. Remember, it has to be followed by the location of the directory that you want to change. Sys use, which is a way to uh, load status preloaded data sets. We're going to talk a little bit more about this later. Keep, which is the command you use to keep a certain number of variables that you want. So let's say I want to get rid of MPG. I just say keep, make, and price. And here we go. There's no MPG. Save to save the data set. You can just put the name of the file directly in case you want to save it to your working directory or use the specific location where you want to place it if it's outside the working directory. Clear all, I think we've seen that before, and use, which you use pretty much the same syntax as you do in save. Well, I hope these tips were useful and will help you keep your files organized.